on The Bobby Bones Show now. Courtney Monroe. She is the president of National Geographic Global Television. Uh, she is the reason that I have a show that exists that will be on uh, Monday night at 10, 9 central. Uh, Courtney Monroe, everybody. Yeah. Hi, everybody. How are you, studio? Hey, we are good. I have a question good. for you. How, yes, Bobby. Tell me about this, how this time thing works. 10, 9 central. Does that mean everybody but central gets it at 10 and then only central gets it at 9? Like, this is the most yes. basic question, but I need help here. Yes, that is correct. Don't you live in the central time zone, though? But I know we get it at 9, <laughs> right? So if right. it's but if you're on the East Coast where I live or you're on the West Coast, you get it at 10. Okay. What about our affiliate in Denver, Mountain Zone? Mm, I think they're at 10. See? I don't know. That's I hard. Know I run a television business. I, <laughs> I don't know. I just Because people hit me up from all these time zones. They're like, what time is it on here? And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to ask somebody who knows. The president. Apparently, I'm not that person, though. No. <laughs> okay, so 10, 9 Central, yes. Monday night on yes. Nat Geo, Breaking Bobby Bones. And let me ask you the first question that people want to know. Why in the world would you green light a show with me on it? I think it's, I mean, that is not a really hard question at all. First of all, uh, I'm a huge fan. I've been a huge fan and loyal listener for a long time. So part of this was just a ploy to get to know you, really. That's number one. Number two, you were on Running Wild with Bear Girls. Uh, your listeners, your fans tuned in, became the highest rated episode ever for us that season. And we were like, oh, my gosh, people love him. Let's do a show with Bobby Bones. And the truth of the matter is this show, it is – this show is the embodiment of exactly who you are. It is full of adventure. It is fun. It is full of heart and inspiration. Um, and your viewers are going to love it. And so I knew it was going to be a hit. I knew it was going to be entertaining. I knew you were going to have fun doing it. That's why we greenlit it. Now, the question for me is, did you ever get nervous that I would be physically, like, really badly injured or die? Because some of the stuff I was doing was pretty nuts. Yes. I did worry about that. I was a little conflicted because on the one hand, the crazier uh, things you do, the, the, you know, the more nutty it is, the better the television. But I really like you, and I didn't want you to get hurt. So, yes, I was definitely nervous, but I was conflicted because it makes for great entertaining television. The first episode is me hanging over the Grand Canyon, and my body is literally trembling. At, at, yeah, at it's really terrifying to watch, like terrifying to watch. But you say that in a way that you were happy that I was terrified. I was super happy. <laughs> yes, because this is all about you facing your fear, getting outside your comfort zone, being vulnerable, um, and spending the day with, with people who do this for a living. You know, really inspiring individuals who are willing to take risks. And you go for it. And it's really fun. And, yes, seeing you scared is kind of entertaining. <laughs> if for me, I, it brings back all the anxiety that I had while actually doing it. Like, I had trouble sleeping the night before. I get out. I'm, hey, there's, a, there's literally a cliff. And they're like, okay, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna, you're going to go out on this rope, and we're going to pull you out. And I'm like, I, don't, I can't do it. And I sat there forever going, guys, I don't know if I can do this. And, I know, but you, I know. Yeah, and I did. But the thing, sorry, sorry, go ahead. No, no, I did, and, and it just brings back the anxiety that I had. Just, I only watched, like, the first half of it, and then I, <laughs> then I fast-forwarded it to just doing the human <laughs> part of it because I was so scared. But I think that's what's so great about it because this is not fake made for television stuff all you all viewers and your fans are going to have to do is see your face and the fear is real and the hesitation is real um and i think that's what makes the show so compelling is that it's real and you're willing to be afraid um and i think the way you connect with these sort of everyday heroes is really inspiring and I will say it's so real that at one point when I was watching, you could see me. I didn't trim a nose hair all the way, and you can see it on TV. It's like coming out. I don't have. There's no beauty squad out there, and so I'm nose hair out, real as can be. And I was like, how did I not shave my cut that nose hair before I got out on TV? So I, that's hilarious. I didn't notice the nose hair, but now I'm going to go back. I've watched the episodes many times. I didn't notice the nose hair. Now I'm going to go look for the nose hair. Did you see any of the episodes and go? That one kind of sucked. No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I have my favorites. I'm not going to say what they are. I have, I think the, you know, the more afraid you are, the more out of your comfort zone, I think, uh, the better. But I love them all. And I love the people that you meet. And I love all the everyday jobs that you immerse yourselves in. And I think 
you know, listeners are going to see themselves in a lot of the people that you meet, and I think that's pretty compelling as well. Yeah, come for the action and me looking dopey trying stuff out, but stay for the, the stories of people who fought real adversity and fought their way through. And, and I think if, if you watch an episode and you're, you don't feel inspired, I did not do my job. And so I think you'll, you'll finish the show and go, dang, like I, I love them. And you may feel a little better about yourself too. Feel a little, feel I a little better. I totally yeah. agree. And I also love how you're begging all your listeners. Uh, to watch, what do they want? The blood? Urine. <laughs> Urine. <laughs> Listen, I'm not above begging either. So please watch. You will love it. National Geographic Channel. They'll eventually be on Disney Plus. No excuse. Lots of places to watch it. People are going to love it. They're going to love you in it, and they're going to love it. There she is. Courtney Monroe, president of National Geographic Global Television and my hero. Uh, Breaking Bobby Bones, 10, 9 Central, uh, Memorial Day, Monday, 10, 9 Central, Nat Geo. Courtney, thank you. Hopefully thank we will you talk so again much. soon. Thanks so much, Bobby. Okay, bye. All right, bye. There she is. Courtney Monroe. Right? It's a Bobby Bones show. Hey.